we thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in this moment. We thank you, Lord, for what you've done in this place. Father God, I thank you, Lord, for the word, God, that you're about to bring forth. Father God, I thank you and I praise you, Lord, for what you're going to say to your holy people. Father God, I bless you and I praise you because you are God. Beside you, there is no other. Father God, I just pray, God, that your word, God, will come out, God, as a fire and as a sword. And so, Father God, I thank you. Break the rocks into pieces. Oh, God, with the word, break the rocks into pieces. Break it into pieces, oh, God. Oh, God, let it come out as a sword and cut off every evil work of the enemy that is surrounding the people in their life. Father, I thank you and I praise you because you are God Almighty. There's nobody like you. And so, God, I give your name the glory, the honor, and the praise. Right now, in your son Jesus' name, we pray. Come on, Lord. You feel with the Holy Ghost? Come on with your holy, your holy voice. Come on. Tell him hallelujah. Come on, tell him hallelujah. Come on, tell him hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Tell him hallelujah. Oh, come on, come on. The righteous run into him and they are safe. How many know you are safe? Yes, you are safe. Yes, you run to God and that's where you find safety. Yes, We're going to go to the book of Revelation chapter 16. I praise yes, God for all of you being in the house. Thank God for my God. brother here. Amen. My sister. Hallelujah. I praise God for you being here. But we are here for the word of God. Yes, Thank the Lord. We heard the, the word, the song that God has sung over us. And it was a command going to the next level. Yes, that came from heaven. Yes, they didn't make that thing and stuff that they didn't rehearse that just came down from glory. Yes, and so it was a charge to let us know we're going to the next level. Yes, no, no ifs, ands, or buts. It's going to happen because it has to happen. Yes, Amen. So you need to really understand yes, where we are in the times of the seasons. Yes, Amen. And where we are in God at this moment. Amen. So I want you to understand that in the book of, of Revelation, we're going there, the book of Revelation chapter 16, and, and I want you to understand that if you don't, um, if, if, if we just stay in the church house, if we just stay in the scriptures, we'll never really understand what God is doing if you don't pay attention to the world and the things that are happening in the world. Amen. Amen. Um, I had spoke um, prior before, and I let everybody know that if you don't even understand why God elected Donald Trump, amen, you, you, you will not get it. Amen. You will not understand. It was a... a, a it was like the enemy had a plan. Yes. And he was getting ready to put out the mark of the beast for the whole world. Yes. Right. He was getting ready to cause every man, woman, child, and boy to come and take this mark. And if you don't take it, you're not going to eat. You're not going to be able to shop. You're not going to be able to buy or sell. That's you don't right. understand. So in the middle of the process, God said, uh -huh. Uh -huh. what happened? Because the saints begin to pray. Yes, the saints begin to look to God and say, oh, God, you got to help us, Lord. We don't understand what is going on, yeah. but God, we know that it's an evil time. And the Lord had already told us over 10 years ago, he was going to give us a space to repent. Yes, Amen. And I also talked about uh, one of the things that President Obama had wrote in his book, yeah. and it was his dream. And he was talking about he was the, the, the leper. Uh -huh. And if you understand scriptures in the book of Revelation, you talk about the leopard. And this leopard had a mouth like a lion. Uh -huh. And this is what happens. He will cause those after him to, to, to take that mark. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But God put a pause right there. All right. God had mercy on his people. How many know that you are the restraining power of the Antichrist? All right. All right. Come on, you need to understand. The restraining power of the Antichrist is the saints who will stand up and yeah. declare the word of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. There are many Antichrists. Spirit is already here. But that one that was to sit down in a seat, and that one that the dragon is to give power to, come on, yes. and that one that the Bible talks about, amen, that one was supposed to hit the scene. Uh-huh. Well. Y'all right. need to know what time it is. Okay. Revelation 16. Let's look at it. Revelation 16, and let's look at verse 9. We just saw some fires. And men were scorched with great heat. And blaspheme the name of God, which has power over these plagues. 
and they repented not to give him glory. And the fifth angel poured out his vial upon the seat of the beast, and his kingdom was full of darkness, and they gnawed their teeth for pain, and blasphemed the God of heaven because of their pains and their sores, and repented not of their deeds. And the sixth angel, see there's a seven angels that are pouring out vials, the wrath of God that is going to hit the earth. Okay, so the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates, and the water thereof was dried up, that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. And I saw three unclean spirits, like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon, and out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet, for they are the spirits of devils, working miracles which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the, the whole world to gather them to the battle of that great day of God Almighty. Verse 15 says, Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. So we're in this time, and there was another minister who was put out, exposed, but this one had many, many contacts. Amen. But if, if, if you weren't in truth, if you weren't in truth, you would have been able to understand, you, would have been, you, you wouldn't have been able to see what that really was. And so here in the book of Revelation, it talks about the dragon. And we understand that there are foreign spirits that walk through to and fro this earth. And we understand that there are ministries in the Bible. The Lord wants us to stay clean and keep our garments. Ye that bear the vessels of the Lord. Amen. And so when you go to certain places where there's always the signs and the wonders and always the same things. I mean, gold dust coming from the sky, feathers, gems, people barking and roaring like a dog. Female angels, come on. Y'all got to understand what is true and what is not. Right. Strange signs and wonders. And these particular ministries all about money. Money, 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 and extravagant lifestyles and merchandisers. They'll sell healings, sell religious oils. They'll sell portions and various projects to reinforce their beliefs. They work then within their own network, focusing on as much money from people as possible. They have all kind of gimmicks, offerings that manipulate people. They're always recruiting followers to join their groups, and they steal from God's people. Amen. Lying signs and wonders. This is a time that we really need to pay attention to. Um, and so this is about the declaration of the upcoming year, crossing over into the next time. A declaration is a formal or explicit statement or announcement. The formal announcement of the beginning of a state or condition. Something that is announced, avowed, or proclaimed. For example, the declaration of war. When you declare something, you're making a statement, you're pronouncing something that's about to happen. Mm -hmm. Amen. In the Hebrew calendar, we are presently at 2018. We are getting ready to walk into 2019. There was a time that we understood BC meant what? Before, Before Christ. Christ. And AD meant after death. And that's not true. Okay. So, Anno Domino AD is the medieval Latin word for the year of the Lord. Or the year that the Lord was born. Oh. B.C. is before Christ. Okay. So A.D. had to mean when he came. Okay. Oh. Right? Mm -hmm. B.C. before Christ. A.D. after he came. Not after the death. Okay? So it is the year of our Lord Jesus Christ. Or the year of Christ's birth. So we are in year 2019. It's been that long since he was born on the earth. Amen. There has been a battle when it comes to B.C. 
and AD. What is the battle? No longer, pretty much, will you see BC. They like to use the term CE or Christian error or common error. In 1652, CE meant the Christian error. In 1708, it changed to the comma error or the current error in order for interfaith dialogues. Just to have everybody agree so nobody get offended in Christ. Wow. So if you say CE or uh, CE, it means that place. Me and when that had replaced the AD, the year of the Lord. How about that? Okay, so a common year is 365 days, and it's distinguished from a leap year that has 366 days. The 19th year of the third millennium. We're going into the 19th year of the third millennium. A thousand years, right? The 19th year of the 20th century, the 10th and the last year of the 2010 decade. So no more in the 2010s. After 2019, you'll be going into the next decade, which is 2020. Okay. Now, I want you to understand that the UN has already made a declaration about 2019. The UN, United Nations, and their General Assembly have already, now how many know these are rulers? Mm -hmm. These are United King, Kingdoms coming together for a united purpose, right. right? And if you go on the website, the UN website says, welcome to the United Nations, it's your world. Mm. And what they have declared <coughs> that this will be the year of the periodic table of chemical elements. Mm. It's the year of chemical elements, looking at the table. And so my, my cousin had talked to me and she said, have you heard about the movie The Bird Box? Mm. Right? Now if you were here to hear our teaching on CERN, the hydro collider that goes into like 70 miles into the earth, actually a little bit deeper than that, goes into the earth, and they wanted to see um, how the world began. They wanted to redo the Big Bang Theory. And because when they put that thing in the earth, the earth shook. Big earthquake had took place, they stopped it. Well, then they started making smaller ones, and then they said, okay, we'll do this, and we'll do that. However, um, they have not stopped things. Right. And so what they've done with the last hydrogen, now we're talking about science, we're talking about a place in Chicago, mm -hmm. was well, a city in Illinois. They have this there, and um, what they decided to do was put in the, the goddess of destruction inside of the hole, and they're hoping that it will bring in the dark matter into the earth. Mm -hmm. They wanted to know how come that this has, um, it doesn't have dark matter so much in the earth. They said because it's balanced out. And they want to know how come things can't just happen. And they're looking at, it's not dark matter here. It's filled with matter, but it's not a lot of dark matter. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens when we bring dark matter in. So wow. dark matter, once released, first of all, they're dealing with portals. Mm -hmm. They're dealing with demonic invasion. They're dealing with Spirits that are come and torment minds of people. Right. They're dealing with people who will who will be influenced to commit murders, to run crazy, and even um, the CDC has what's called the zombie effect. Mm -hmm. These are all in your in your institutions. Mm -hmm. This is your California, but what is the CDC? This is a disease control center. Mm -hmm. They're warning you about zombie effect. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because there are things, that we, so, so she's talking about this bird box movie, amen. And so in this movie, people are being told, just listen to my voice, right? follow me, just listen to my voice, because there was a darkness that was over the place and people start drawing pictures and so forth of these things that they were seeing. But if you listen to my voice, because if they took off their, their mask, yeah. then they will be infiltrated by this thing. Right. So this year, it's declared by them. Mm -hmm. 
the periodic table of chemical elements by the United Nations Assembly. They decided this in December 17th, 2017, and it won without full vote. They just said, let's go and do it. The International Union of Pure and Applied Science, in their 74 planetary meeting, the planets, okay, listen. United Nations recognize the importance of raising global awareness of how chemistry promotes sustainable development and provide solutions to global challenges in energy, education, agriculture, health. Indeed, the resolution was adopted as part of a more general agenda than on science and technological for development. Now, it talks about the Agenda 21, that's all in this plan. All right, sustainable food. So that means if you don't understand that for the sustainable um, ways of products that they're making, this is where you're getting artificial food. This is, right, I mean, because if you know what Cinemix is, Cinemix is a company that are using artificial geminal ingredients. Right. They're using things to create flavor and taste. Uh -huh. right. So it, Starbucks was one of the companies that had to address an item because they were looking at the strawberry frappuccinos. Uh -huh. And they said, somebody discovered that it wasn't natural strawberries. Uh -huh. They discovered that it was something else, and it was actually a red beetle bug. Wow. And so Cinemix would use this bug and smash it up and put it into the food, and it made it a flavoring. Oh. This is today. You can look it up. You know, that's why I said we be so much in here. We don't pay attention to what's going on. Yep. Yep. We, we're not paying attention. Right? We're not paying attention. And then other people who pay attention, they say, who cares? Just bless the food. Right. Yeah, okay. Wow. Ignorance. Right. So as a global organization that provides objective science, expertise, and develops the essential tools for the application and communication of chemical knowledge for the benefit of man, humankind, the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry is pleased and honored to make this announcement concerning the International Year of the Periodic Table of Chemical Elements, said IUPAC President, mm -hmm. Professor Natalia Tarasova. Uh, so they're getting ready to experiment right. mm -hmm. in the air, uh -huh. agriculture, food, more than what you already know. They're getting ready to, um, they want to train the youth, getting them ready, right? They're looking for scientists, they're looking for engineers, they're looking for all these things because they're looking at how to build the peace in the minds of men and women. So there is an increase in the updating the bank policies to support the 2030 agenda. So there's not only that agenda, there's an agenda for 2030. Okay? So among the resolutions approved, um, they're gearing up to implement the international community's 2030 agenda for sustainable development. Now, there was a person who, who had a product called Soylent, and it's a green product, and it's powder, and you shake it up, and he said, you drink it. He said, the millennials don't want to go and, and sit down and eat. They don't have time. They got to study all the time. So we just have this something to drink. We don't have to worry about food. We don't even care about food. And so they asked the question, what about the taste? Who cares about taste? We just want to do what we got to do for energy so we can study more. Do you think taste doesn't matter? Wow. There was a movie back in the 70s called Soylent Green. Yeah. It's really interesting how things are repeating itself. Mm -hmm. And if you watch the movie from, how many of you remember the movie Soylent Green? If you haven't watched it, you need to watch it again. Okay? Movie's 1984. They tell you it's predictive programming what they're getting ready to do. Hello? Mm -hmm. And so if we just watch movies like, Oh, that's the move. No, they're getting, they're telling you what they're about to do. Right. And they are programming your mind and getting you comfortable so when it happens, oh, I saw that in a movie. Right. Mm -hmm. It's time to pray. That's right. If it's never been time, a, a, a time to pray before, pray it's now. a time to pray now. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about chemistry. Let's talk about your words. Your words are frequency. Yeah. Your words are vibrations. Your words are waves in the atmosphere. Yeah. Your words. Yeah. Amen. And so there was a doctor by the name of Masaru Emoto. I believe I talked to people before. This is nothing new that I'm saying. Mm -hmm. 
But it's about the 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 practice of speaking over water. Right. right. Oh, yeah. And if you said hate words over the water right. versus good words over the water, something crystallizes, something it, it, it changes the whole dynamic. Yeah. He done the same experiment with rice. So he put rice in the bowl, and many people saw this experiment. You can go home and try it yourself. Put it in a jar, and this one said hate, and this one said love. So you spoke hate words into this jar of rice, and then you spoke good words into this jar of rice. Two different jars. Well, after a time period, the jar that that was good, it was still, it was, the, the rice was firm and fluffy and edible, but the, the rice that had the words of hate spoken into it, it was moldy, mildewish, nobody could eat it. So we're talking about even the chemistry with your words. Yeah. Right. And what you say. Right. What you put out in the air. Right. It does not um, just go out and do nothing. Everything you say, everything you do, it, this is Emoto said, water was a blueprint for our reality and that emotional energies and vibrations could change the physical structure of water. Listen. Blueprint for our reality. The emotional energy. You know, you get emotional, you just start saying whatever. Yeah. And the vibrations could change the physical structure of water. Emoto's water crystal experience constituted of exposing water and getting glasses to different words, pictures, or music, then freezing and examining the aesthetic properties and the resulting crystals with microscopic photography. And so he lets you know with the water of uh, what the words you say and how it will affect the water. Right. Even music. Mm -hmm. right. Music is the same thing, mm -hmm. right? And so how much is your body full of water? Mm. Right. So if evil words is being spoken around you right. and you watching certain movies, right? And you're listening to certain moves, certain music, right? What's happening to your system? Mm -hmm. okay. If it's majority of water. Mm -hmm. Yes, right. Is it getting molded and mildewed inside? Oh. Things can't pass through the system? So... This is what's happening with their plans for the next year. <coughs> right? Let's go to Genesis chapter 1. Genesis 1 and 1. It reads, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters, of the waters. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. So here in the beginning, God is using his words, right. right? The spirit of God is moving upon the waters. Right. It's already a spirit moving. Mm -hmm. And then he speaks, let there be light. Right. He speaks other things. Let there be this. Let there be, let the waters under the heavens, let, let the earth bring forth grass. He speaks, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven right. to divide the day from the night. God speaks and it happens. The Spirit of God moves and it's in agreement with the voice that's being spoken. Mm -hmm. So God never separates himself from the word or his spirit right. because these agree in one. Right. Mm -hmm. So whenever God speaks, it has to line up with his word right. and his spirit is with, it's all together as one. Right. These are one. Amen. Yeah. And so we understand that in this coming year, you will have to profess and confess the Lordship of Yeshua HaMashiach, the Lord Jesus Christ, who came from above. Right. If you want to see great change in your life, it will require you to be actively involved. For instance, the book of Acts. Right. In other words, 
this new is going to take action on your part. James 2, 14 to 26 gives descriptions about faith. Faith without works is dead. Faith alone can't save you. It's not going to save you. I got faith, uh-huh. I got faith, mm-hmm. I, but faith standing by itself, you're not going to get nowhere. Right. All right. So faith without works is dead if it abides alone. Right. Even the demons understand. He says, you believe there's one God, you do well, or that's good. Uh-huh. But even the demons believe and tremble. But do you want to know, oh foolish man, that faith without works is dead? So we got to be fools if we think that we can just have faith and never put nothing into action. Right. You got to be about the power to do these things. Right. So to profess is to administer the vows of a religious order to someone, to a mentor religious order. Um, you're making a profession. I am saved. I am a believer. I believe that God is the one who sent his son and I cannot get to God except I go through his son. Amen. And so you will be able to walk through, walk through salvation if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, yeah. believe in your heart yeah. that God raised him from the dead and thou shalt be saved. Yeah. It's a continual walk. It's yeah. a continual belief. Yeah. But if you believe that Christ came just to die and that's it, he done the works. He destroyed the works of the devil. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. He came to destroy. He didn't come to pacify. He didn't come to just make a show on the cross, to make a show coming out the ground and have other. No, there was a work involved. Yeah. He had to stay in a place of prayer. Come on. Yeah. He had to stay in a place of prayer to stay in a place of power. Yeah. He had to be able to resist the devil just like us. Right. Right. You resist, draw nine and God, resist the devil, and he will flee. Yeah. He knew what he came to do. He knew his purpose. He knew why he was sent. Amen. And so just like him, you need to know that you need to be about the Father's business. Yeah. To confess means to admit to the truth. Confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus. That is the Lord. Yeah. He's the ruler. Yeah. He's that last Adam that was to come. He's the ruler over this earth. He's the ruler of heaven and the earth. And he obeys everything his father tells him to. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So he is sitting on the throne. And he is he's listening. And he's listening to, to what's going on. He's watching and seeing. And, and, and when you come and you go before God. And he sees that you're getting things a little off. The Bible says he is a propitiation. Uh-huh. He is the go-between. Right. Right. right? Because when he said to pray, he said, our father, right. which art in heaven. Uh-huh. So we are praying to God, our Father. Amen. God is our God. Jesus is the one that God has sent on this earth to be that second out, to be the prophet like Moses. Come on. He had to be part of the Godhead. The Word became flesh and dwelt. Come on. He is the Godhead part. He's the one that came from heaven down to the earth to walk this walk 33 and a half years. Come on. He walked the walk. He done what he was supposed to do. He had to stand against the Pharisees, the scribes. He had to stand against them and still speak the word. He had to be um, spoken about even at his birth. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So even the Pharisees could not understand why he kept just doing good. Right. He going to the house of God and people are sick in the house of God. Come and on. he says, stretch forth your hand. Uh-huh. The crippled man stretched forth his hand and immediately that man was healed. Yeah. All right. But what came after that? What happened was the Pharisees and Sadducees got mad and they started ruling, using the rules of the Sabbath day right. to try to get him to say that he's not a God because he don't obey the law. See? Mm-hmm. Not looking at the miracles, not looking at, he didn't understand that. He said, the, the Sabbath is made for man. Uh-huh. And he began, to, if you had an ox and one got lost, would you not go and get them? He got hurt. Would you not go and get him? Would you not go and help him? Would you not go and fix him? Would you not go and deliver him? So they were able to look at animals better than they were able to look at a human being. All right. 
And so here, the Lord is saying, let there be light. Yeah. Yeah. Let there be light in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. Yeah. And it was so. Mm -hmm. So light, the electromagnetic radiation, wavelengths, mm -hmm. frequency, mm -hmm. gamma ray, whenever you get an x-ray, that's light. Yeah. Right. The main source of light upon the earth is the sun. Yeah. Let there be light. Mm. Light provides a, a viewpoint of clarity in the midst of darkness. Yes. Light is a differentiation between that which is dark and that which is light. Light is the illumination needed to see the glories of God. Yeah. Light is the mark of God as Jesus says is the light of the world. Listen, yeah, you need to world. say let there be light. With all the evils that's about to come, that's about to be loose. Come on, we need to be about the Father's business yeah, and start yeah. speaking his word. Yeah. Let there be light. Let there be light. Come on, let, if they're trying to manufacture sicknesses, come on. Come on. Yes. So they can have bigger hospitals, come on, so they can, they can yeah. reduce the population uh -huh. from 7 million people to 500 million. Come on, yeah. you need to be saying let there be light. I do matter. You don't get yeah. to tell me when I get to live more time. Come on, uh -huh. you don't get to be the one. Yes, right. yes. yes God. Thank you, God. So with all the foolishness and then in every part of the world and so they're coming into the church. Come on, you got people, Jesuits who learn the voice and the words and the, the yes, ways of the yes, church. Yes, yes, and yes. some of them were responsible for changing this time even from B.C. and A.D. They changed this time to have peace with the people. Right, right. right. So sneakily, they done these things. Right, right. And we didn't even know it. We didn't even know it. They said only the Baptist, the Southern Baptist Church was upset. And right. they made, they, they got into the courts and said, we will say A.D. Yeah. Right. You're not going to make us say C.E. Right. They stay in the news. Come on. They understand what's happening. They go on to the laws. Yeah. They're going to legislation meetings. Come on. They're li listening. And they're involved. Right. Yeah. All right. Did you know that? Hmm. So it's time this year to go up to the next level. Yeah. Yeah. You can't just be sitting around here just trying to figure stuff out and, and just paying attention to little things and, and not looking at what's happening around the world. Come on, Come on. It's, it's, it's time out for that. Yeah. You cannot just sit in your neighborhood and look at the murder rate no. going up. Come on. And not to, you got to look at the death rate that is going up. Come on. You got to look at the robbery rates that's going up. Yeah. You don't just sit back. And just look at it like it's nothing. My God. Right? You cannot just look at, do y'all look at crime analysis? <laughs> the rates that go out every yeah. week in your paper? No. Every no. month in your paper? No. Why not? Jesus. We're not concerned about how many people are getting robbed in the neighborhood? Oh, what's We're not concerned about how many deaths and murders there are? We're not concerned about the accidental deaths, even from the doctors, that they might have to sign an arbitration agreement so you don't know. We're not concerned. Right. We're not concerned about how many marijuana places they about to they have opened up and they are going to continue to open up. We're not concerned about the propositions that are being released. They're being released when the church is asleep. See? This next level, you got to be involved. This next level, you've got to know what's going on. This next level, you got to be in a in a place of prayer. This next level, you can't you cannot be on this level and say bad things about President Trump. Come on, come on. Oh, I'm quiet. <laughs> you better understand left wing and right wing. Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. Well, we don't understand that either, huh? Mm. We still ain't looked up the French Revolution of 1919. We still ain't looked at what happened. Lots of stuff happened in 1919. 100 years ago. We haven't looked and paid attention to what happens in Chicago. The highest crime rate in the yeah, whole world. The whole world. Jesus. Well, in this nation. Right. People are getting their heads cut off for naming Christ. Uh, Amen? Mm -hmm. We're not looking at yeah. the robotics taking over technology. Yeah. Yeah. And every time you go into a grocery store and it's self-serve, self-exit, mm -hmm. that's somebody without a job. Right? Because you scan it yourself. Right, right. Now you got to pay for the bags. Yeah. You used to have a bagger that would bag your, your items up and would know how to pack it. They would get in trouble for packing it wrong. Mm -hmm. We at the end packing eggs with meat and rice. <laughs> <laughs> Smashing the bread. 
That was somebody's job. They had to go to school. They had to be trained on how to pack a bag. Yeah. All right. Right? Yeah. And so we're we're not paying serious. About to go out of business. 424 department stores. Wow. So last week there was a whole bunch of going out of business sales. How many jobs? Why? Because Amazon had taken over. They can yeah. do things through internet. Yeah. yeah. All right. You know, we since Elsa was talking about you do everything with who has checks today? Because you just do everything with your phone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everything with your phone. So, with these things that are coming, there's a doctor already talking about 5G. Yeah. And what 5G will do to the minds, will do to the bodies, cause sicknesses, cause cancer. Come on. It's a lot of things that yeah. 5G is yeah. being released to yeah. do. Yeah. 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 Come on. Are we praying? Mm. Right? But we just going all about yeah. our business. We're not paying attention. And all the destructions right here. Have you paid attention to since, since the holiday time, have you paid attention that, that the caravans in Mexico are growing? Yes, yeah. And many of them have already been dropped off in Arizona, dropped off in yeah. El Paso, Texas. Yeah. Have you paid attention? Yeah. And if you understand that, you need to read Gog and Magog. Because when you read about Gog and Magog, these people come from all all nations all over to try to buck against and get into the system. They try to get into the sanctuary city. They try to get into the city of God. Mm-hmm. According to the scriptures, they try to get into the city of God. And then when they come in, they rob, they steal, they kill. Jesus. Study God and make God. And I know we're going to talk about Armageddon, but you need to see God and make God together throughout the Bible. Right. Not just at the Armageddon. But they come like people that are as, as large as the sea, uh, as big as the sand, God and may God. So all these prophetic things are happening. Yeah. And we're looking. Mm-hmm. And it's time to pray. Mm-hmm. But not only is it time to pray, it's time to change our words. Right. So if we're speaking evil or we complaining, we're doing all kinds of hey, if you don't like where you are, change it. That's right. Amen. Amen. Right? We can't force people to listen to us. No, right. You have a responsibility with your children, though. Right. Yeah. Your young children, you have a responsibility to make sure that they listen to you. Yeah. Right. Amen? Amen? We have a responsibility. Yeah. Although the school system have kind of started that with Bart Simpson. Yeah. yeah. With the I hate the parents thing. Mm-hmm. Parents are dumb. Par- yeah. Come on, it's, it starts way back. And so now you have a mindset, right, that's mixed into the children's minds. They don't have to listen. And then you got Will Smith, parents just don't understand. Mm-hmm. Right? You, it set everybody up. Yeah. And then you have the don't discipline your children. Mm-hmm. And they train the kids, call the police. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All these things happen way back. Yes, we did. They were teaching us in school that we came from apes. Well, I had a pastor that went straight to the school system, went straight to our school, and started talking about, you cannot teach this as fast, you have to teach this as a theory. And how dare you teach, because the Bible says God created man, he went in that way. Mm -hmm. That stayed in that teacher's brain for so long. Four years later, by the time I had the same teacher, my sister had he would say, don't bring your priests, don't bring your pastors, don't bring, this is a theory. Uh-huh. That stayed in that man's mind. Because Pastor Poe said, you are not, he was a teacher himself. Right. And you will not, okay, so then there is an LGBT um, teacher who is exposing things right now. Right. She's saying that they have to teach the kids things on the side and not tell the parents. Uh-huh. Sex education, and they were doing more than just reading a book. Uh-huh. Yeah. And now the books are changing. Yeah. And now legal papers are changing. And so they want to make it illegal for a parent to decide the sex of a child. Mm. They said, wait till they get old enough to decide what they want to be. Mm. And so Proposition 8 opened up other things. Where now they want to reduce age of consent for sex is 18 in California. They want to reduce it down to 12. Oh. Exactly. They're already teaching. The pedophiles. So, so who's paying attention? Right. Who's talking? 
Another, another person who was a teacher, he's looking at all the schools now. He said, why do they look like prisons? Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, they do. They do. Yep. They do. Yep. And it's a hurtful thing that the kids are being indoctrinated into accepting a prison life. Right. Not even understanding that right. because they've never been to a prison before. Mm -hmm. right. They don't know what prison looks like, but people who do know what it looks like. They look at the school, certain schools that they're making in certain areas, and they're saying, why does this look like a prison? Right. So how do you how do you deal with this? First of all, you start speaking the truth and you get involved. That's right. Man. Get involved. Start getting involved. Start paying attention to the laws that are being passed. Get involved. Mm -hmm. get, in, get involved. George Washington, one of our first presidents, listen. Do y'all know there was a black, seven black presidents before the United yes. States of America, mm -hmm. this part? Mm -hmm. yes. And so there were seven black presidents. So they trained George Washington? Yes. Mm -hmm. Only uh -huh. Yes. It's a secret. Mm -hmm. Trained yeah. on how to rule a nation? United States of America. Yeah. So this is all way back then. Trained on how to do yeah. what needs to be done. With intellect, persuasion, and all. Yeah. Amen? Uh -huh. But did you know that? No. Many of us didn't. So it's time to be involved. It's, listen. Know that you are a child of God. Yeah. And know that however he made you, whatever race he made you, you ought to give him glory. All right. yes. You ought to give him praise. Come on. Yes. It's time to fight and it's time to say something. Yes. Amen. It's time yes. to correct. It's time to correct our loved ones. It's time yes. to get in this Bible yes. and start telling them what the Bible says. Yes. Yes. No, well, if you think you was born this way, then you need to be born again. Yes. Right. From above. Right. From above. Right. Yeah. Everybody need to be born again from yes. above. Because yes. we were all born in sin, shaping and iniquity. Yes. But we all have be born, born again. again. Yeah. Come on, it's time to be born, born again. again. Yeah. It's time to get the real Jesus inside of us, yeah. not the actor on the wall. Come All on, right. not the actor on the wall. All yeah. right. Come on. So what are we going to do? Yeah. Let's get ready to go. Come on, Dion. Yeah. Let's, let's get on this keyboard because we get ready to take us out of here. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Right. So, the Bible says, let there be light. Yeah. And there was light. Look at your yeah. neighbor and say, let there be light. Let, let there, there be light. light. Say it again to your next neighbor. Let there be light. Let, let there, there be, be light. light. Light is a viewpoint of clarity in the midst of darkness. Say, let there be light. Come let on. there be light. Light is a differentiation between that which is dark and that which is light. Let, let there, there be light. Light is an illumination needed to see the glories of God. Let there be light. Light is the mark of God as Jesus as Come is on. the light of the world. Come on, let, let there, there be light. Light represents good works that men may see and glorify our Father which is in heaven. Come on. There is not good, no, not one. God is the good is not a word to be minimized or marginalized. It can't be standardized because good only comes from God, and only God is good. Good comes from God who is above. The Father of life in whom there's no variableness, neither shadow turning. Come on, let there be life. In the beginning, God made all things good, and he made every man good in the beginning. Moses said, let me see your glory. God says, my goodness shall pass over you. So goodness is mixed with the glory. Come on. Goodness is mixed with the glory. And the glory is mixed with light. The prom, the psalmist says, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. God makes everything good in his time. Good cannot be rushed. Good cannot Come on. It cannot be manufactured. Good is being formed in you. Look at somebody say, God is making me good. God is making me good. Good is from above. Good is God. And God is good. Come on, look at your neighbor and say, ain't nobody good but God. It might be a lot of nice people, but ain't nobody good from God. In this coming year, if you want to see the goodness of the Lord, you will have to profess and confess, decree and declare as a statement, let there be light. God's word is a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your pathway. Come on, let there be light. Light is a connection to glory. Arise, shine, for your light has come. The light of the Lord, the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. For behold, the darkness 
shall come on the earth. Come on, darkness is coming. Darkness is looking at your neighbor. Darkness is coming. The bird box told you it was coming. The other movie told you it was coming. Darkness is coming. Darkness is coming. And gross darkness to people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee. Come on, say, come on, God, arise. Come on, God, arise. And glory shall be seen upon thee. Say, I'm about to get the glory. I'm about to get the glory. I'm about to get the glory. Because you got to be a glory carrier in these yeah. days. You got to carry the glory. You got to walk in the light. You got to walk in the truth. Come on. You got to speak what is right. Come on. You got to speak his word. Get ready for a change. What are we declaring this year? This year is a year of God's manifested glory. Yes, Come on, I need y'all to really pay attention. Yes. This year is a year of God's manifested glory. Yes. He's going to get the glory. Come on. Come on, he's going to get the glory. Yes. He's going to get the glory out of your sickness. Come on, yes. he's going to get the glory out of the diseases. Yes. Come on, he's going to get the glory out of your loved ones. Yes. He's going to get your glory in the cup pocket. Come on, yes. he's going to get the glory from your enemies. Come on. He's going to make the enemy come and bow down at your feet. Come on. God is going to make the enemy turn around and humble himself. God is going to make the enemy pay. Look at somebody say the enemy going to pay this year. The enemy going to pay this year. Get ready for change. Get ready for change. Come on. Get ready for change. Get ready for change. Get ready for change. Get ready for change. Come on, y'all got to receive. Thank you. 
He said there's a show for us. Come on, show for Come on, when he said go. When we were at the tabernacle experience, you couldn't move from one station to the next until you heard the show far. So when you hear the noise, the sound of the trumpet, come on, with the voice of the show far, come on, you got to be able to do what he tells you to do. When he says move, you got to move. Whoever got to get out the way, you got to say, get up, because he listen. Some people used to you, and they watch the way you do things. And they know you ain't going to say nothing to them. And they've been doing it for all these years. This is a time for change. Your yes got to be yes. Your no got to be no. You cannot keep the same posture as you have done in non-complacency and say, well, the Lord knows my heart. No, it ain't that time. He said, I know your heart. And when I tell you to do something, you need to do it. If you don't do it, your heart is evil and wicked. Woo. So let your yes be yes. And let your no be no. So you can't let people know your ways and manipulate you. It's time to understand that God is big. Let every man be a liar. But God is true. In this season, in this coming year, your seasons of frustration and pain is over. Look at your neighbor said, I'm not going to be frustrated in this one. I'm not going to be frustrated I'm not in, this fail one. in this one. Oh, I'm not going to be frustrated in this one. I'm not going to be failing in this one. In this coming year, I walk in victory. Look at your neighbor. I walk in victory. I walk in victory. I walk in victory. Walk in victory. Walk in victory. What does victory look like? He destroyed them and cut them away. You can't put your mouth on everybody. Come on. You can't talk about everybody. You can't put your mouth on who God has sent. Come on. You can't do that. I think you're going to get away. God will cause everything around you to fall apart. You can't put your mouth on everybody. God will cause that to come. You cannot put your mouth on everybody. All right. All right. Jesus. You better know that. You better know it. You better know it. Come on. Now look at your neighbor and say, I'm the sent one. I'm the sent one. You better ask somebody. You better go and ask somebody. You better ask somebody. My God. You thought you knew me. But you don't know me at all. Come on, you thought you knew me. But this is 2019. A snake will even shed his skin. You think God don't say I'm Every time I read the book, he said, I make all things new. So I'm never going to be the same. I'm never going to be defeated. I'm never going to take Because I know who is with me. This is a new day. This is a new time. This is a new point of view. This is a new viewpoint. Somebody said the thousand lights of the In this coming year, all things that have been held up will be released for the purposes of what you have been sent for. It will not return to unto God for it. Look at your name. These will be released. Stuff that's been set up and held up. You will try this life. 
it's time to look further than what you've already been looking. Yes, 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 Come on, yes. it's time to expand how you can see. Yes, yes. How do you see? Ah. The prophet sent the man of God to go see what he saw because he knew rain was coming. How do you see? Ah. I don't see anything. Ah. Go back. How do you see? Ah. I don't see anything. Okay. Go back again. How do you see? I see a cloud as he Expand your horizons. Yeah. You will expand your horizons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you see? Your territory is being enlarged. Come on. All right. The place got to be too big for you. Ah. Come on. Ah. Your territory, because see, you fit in it now. Ah. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you, you fit in that thing now. But he said your territories got to be enlarged. Enlarge our territories, God. Yes, you fit. Yes, but it's time to expand your borders. Yes, All right. yes, yes, yes. It's time to set the horizon. All yes, right. yes. And God set, set the border up. Set the border up. Jesus. <laughs> set the border up. Because without a wall, the city's like broken down to any kind of demons that come in. Set the border up. Set the border up. Come on, set your boundaries up. Come on. It's time to set your boundaries. Yes. Yes. Jesus. Let grown people be grown people in this season. Come on. Yes. Your territory is being enlarged. Yes. My God. <laughs> move out my way. Ah, you better move. Talk to the territories. Ah, move out my way. Uh -huh. How do we say that? Because God has said, speak to the mountain. Yes. And tell it to you. That's right. Uh, Move out my way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody, y'all need to be setting this up. Uh, all yeah. right. Move out my way. Move out my way. My territory is expanding. All right. My territory is expanding. My horizon is expanding. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My territory is expanding. Yeah, yeah. My view is different. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, See, I can fit in the place I was to be in. But God wants me to be a place that I don't fit. He wants it to be too large for me because he's got to expand my faith. Come on. Because when he expands my faith, I've got to know that it is more than God with me than the enemies that are outside trying to fight within me. But I want you to know God got chariots of angels. God got a hope. walking when you can make blind people blind. Ah, ah, ah. Paul was made blind. Ah. <laughs> that wicked man that was trying to stop the gospel of being preached to the governor was made blind. Yeah, he was. The way is already made. Ah. Come on, look at your neighbor and say, the way yeah. is already made. The way, the way, is, already made. The way is already made. Come on, y'all need to get up and start walking. So we all can get up. Y'all need to start walking this out. Come on, your way. Take your territory. Come on, if this was the goal, you need to understand. You take your territory. Come on, the music is changing. Come on, the sound is changing. The vibration is changing. The Son of God is here. The song is coming. The song is coming. The glory is coming. Let's see.
on anybody. Because the glory of the Lord is already here. If you can't receive it, all of your healing, come on. All of your breakthrough. All that comes in this atmosphere. Y'all dropped. Jesus, Jesus. All of it. Come on. Because you're not used to that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I said they lay hands on the sick that shall come. Uh, I'm talking about people that know God. Come on! Right, right, right there. Right there. Right there. Yeah, right the word. Jesus. The word. Right there. Wow. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That's the jury. Uh-huh. And he said, I have not found so much of faith in all of Israel. Yeah. All right. And all he did was speak the word. Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah, and he yeah. said, I'm, right. gonna, I'm over people just like you. I, uh, I'm a captain and you ain't got to cut up my house. Uh-uh. Just speak Just the word. word. Hey. word. Just speak yeah. the word. My God. Hey. So you got to get ready. Come on. Because on this next level, you can't look for people to lay hands on yeah. you. All right. All right. Most of them are contaminated God. anyway. God. And all they're doing is releasing demons to you anyway. Right. All right. All right. All right. You gotta get used to the presence. Uh-huh. 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 Right. Uh-huh. Get used to his presence. Yes. You gotta get used yes. to when the when the praise and worship go yes. up, yes. you better yes. tap in. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. My God. My we been in blue to the mountains, blue to the heavens, and we all going and y'all just still sitting there. We just like, did y'all see that? Right, y'all see what's going on. Oh, Jesus. We left here. Y'all, y'all didn't aboard. I mean, my God, you didn't see. Did you y'all see? didn't see we did like Star Trek. Anointing, I need you down. Thank you, okay. Jesus. 